Hello my friends, John here. Welcome back to my subscribers. And if you're new, please subscribe. I'd be honored to see you again. Okay, you know, <laughs> I hear other people talk about this sometimes, but I gotta tell you, there's just been more resistance lately to do videos, like I'm noticing it in the last uh, three, four videos. So just an extra thank you, you know, the, these things, these comments and and, and, and the confirmations and, and, and the times you let me know it really resonates. It's just, uh, it's encouraging because sometimes, um, well, like I said, there's there's resistance. And uh, so thank you for that. And, you know, for the, the seed sowers, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay, right into it. Now, I haven't shared a dream in, uh, in a little while. And I'm just going to give you a, a piece of it. Um, and, and it's kind of short. I prayed about this. But it was like I walk into a little, it's almost like a chapel. It wasn't just like a church. It was, it actually, I had the impression it was even maybe inside of a big ministry. And, um, hmm. The man speaking I wouldn't even say, I, it wasn't known, I don't know if he was a pastor, but either way, he was the one kind of speaking, teaching. And, you know, I, I, I'm sitting down, and, and then he changes, think of these words, he changed his, his position. It was as if there were different pulpits, I guess. He, he went to another one. And then it was like, methodically, the whole congregation shifted. So it, it, all I can say is it prompted me to pray for, for leaders, but, um, you know, <laughs> just as an example, picture a pastor of a, of a large church, very large, um, or someone just with a big audience, you know, they can shift in their audience, you know, in this case, shifted with the person. There was no knowledge at all of, of what he was saying. Um, so all I can say, like I said, it prompted me to just, just pray for, for leaders. After that, I, I, you know, if I remember correctly, this is even just like a couple minutes later. I'm kind of half awake, half asleep. And, and then I hear this. I wrote this down. The Lord wants people to know he's knocking on the door for some of you. So I hear this. I get up and write it down. Uh, the, also, there was a short statement about discipline. But um, in any case, you know, the scripture that goes with this now, it's Revelation 3.20. If someone wants to, you know, and you want to post it, that would be uh, wonderful. Uh, but basically, you know, it's a scripture talking about Jesus knocking at, at the door, you know, wanting to come in and uh, sup with you or, you know, eat, eat with you. Um, so as I laid in bed, just kind of <laughs> pondering this, meditating on this a little bit, like this wasn't a, a, a rapture thing, you know, there, there was not, it wasn't like a message I could just tell in my spirit. It, it's more like, maybe indirectly it could relate because it's, it's more like, and this is stuff I was thinking about yesterday, just readiness, like the Lord wants readiness. And, you know, if he's at the door, we want to be ready because he wants to come in. Um, so, you know, if this means something specific to you, then may the Holy Spirit just, you know, have you receive that message. And I'm just looking at my notes. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much about it. I'm just going to read it again. The Lord wants people to know he's knocking on the door for some of you. That, that's that's how I heard it. Um, so everybody, you know, just invite him in. If you're not sure he's knocking, invite him to come knock on that door. Do your best to be ready and, uh, and, and dine with the Lord. Um, oh, you know, this just now comes to me. There was something else. I heard something like, come sit with me because <laughs> I remember waiting to, to see if the Lord's literally telling me to get in bed and go in another room when I desperately want to get, but, but no, he didn't seem to be doing that. So more of a, of a general thing. Um, so I, you know, especially the way this first thing was phrased, the longer sentence, you know, that I really felt like this was for the whole body of Christ. That's the other thing that I wanted to say. Um, yeah, so that's it. So God bless you, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.